Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today, man. I really do hope that. Welcome back to Chelsea News, the daily series here on Football Therapy, where I go across football media, try and fish out anything that's going on with Chelsea Football Club, present it to you guys, offer you my opinion on the stories, and then more importantly, ask for your opinions. Of course, at the moment, it's silly season, so there's a lot of nonsense in the media, but today's stories come from the athletic a reputable platform publication written by simon johnston a very reputable chelsea writer and we're going to be talking about chelsea's intentions to make two marquee signings and most notably or more notably the fact how chelsea's well frank lampard's number one priority target for a left back remains Ben Chilwell, which is interesting. He does divide opinion. He certainly was looking like he'd cost way too much money, but Chelsea could get him for a little bit less than originally stated, which still is probably quite a lot. And although the player himself was in rather stinky form before football paused, he is England's first choice left back. And while in form, he was probably top three left backs in the Premier League. So we're going to talk about that and how he could work with this Chelsea team and indeed the long term Chelsea project because the dude is still a very young player. Ultimately, it could be a good purchase and a good idea. Also, apart from stating other high profile targets that Johnson speaks about in the piece, I do want to talk about Timo Werner as the club are pretty much accepting that a transfer is inevitable. Lots to talk about today, guys. So if you do want daily updates on Chelsea Football Club, please do consider subscribing to Football Therapy if you You've not yet done so hey only if you want to but I upload daily so it gives you a good opportunity to keep up if you click the bell notifications icon and if you want to do me a favor please do drop a like on this video all right let's get on with it you know what let's start off with Timo Werner the Germanic marksman scores loads and loads of goals generally runs on the shoulder runs in behind plays off the left flank often and like I said just scores a lot of goals he's not necessarily the answer to anyone's n full number nine woes like he's been constantly linked to Liverpool he wants to go to Liverpool but for me if he went there he'd be playing on the flank he's so different to Roberto Firmino that he couldn't really play that pressing false nine role he'd be wanting he'd want to play as one of those wide men scoring loads of goals now although the coaches and club pretty much accepted that he wants to go thing is dude he wants to go to Liverpool yes the news and headlines are saying Chelsea or Liverpool most likely targets but the truth is he's often been flirting you know, fluttering his eyelashes at the Scousers. And it's been reported by journalists such as David Ornstein, uh, Raphael Honigstein, and people that he had phone conversations with Jurgen Klopp. He wants to go to his, you know, German comrade. He wants to play for Liverpool. He likes the look of the club. And pretty much, I think he appreciates the interest from other big clubs, such as Chelsea Football Club. Even, I feel like if he came to Chelsea, it would be sort of semi against his will. These articles saying that a transfer is inevitable. I don't know if it's specifically this summer, but a transfer is inevitable. But if they mean this summer, that would come like as a bit of a shock to me because the way his contract works is every year his buyout clause drops to a certain amount. So if Liverpool aren't willing to pay the full 50 million buyout clause, which is hella cheap anyway, mental to me, then it goes down to 30 million next summer. Maybe Liverpool would hold out for that. He just plays for one more year in Germany, still relatively young. That's what I assumed would happen. But if he remains a target for Chelsea, who knows, maybe they can convince him and maybe he can have a change of heart. But of course, I'll keep you updated on any sort of movement on these stories just make sure you stay tuned into football therapy right so let's talk about ben chilwell a little bit more but let's start the story with simon johnson's uh, story on the athletic because he says a lot of information in this article i do urge you guys to go check out the athletic it's very interesting and with writers like simon liam twomey uh, dominic firefield you get excellent content so in this article simon talks about chelsea's intention to have a still relatively big rebuild even though there's a pandemic going on even after hakim ziyech they're looking for two marquee signings and then who knows maybe a couple or one or two on top of that the marquee signings or the two would contain Ben Chilwell if Frank Lampard gets his way and another attacker this attacker could be the likes of Timo Werner, Moussa Dembele, maybe Jadon Sancho or interestingly Kai Havertz all pretty high profile expensive targets there personally I've kind of 
eased off a little bit on the Jaden Sancho Kai Havertz expectations. Because I'm just like you, man. I'm a Chelsea fan. If, you know, Chelsea, if we follow these high profile targets all the way and then don't end up with any of them, you might feel disappointed as you go into the season. I'm trying to stay a little bit more on the Frank Lampard project train and sort of believe in the whole systemic project. And if we get a superstar along the way, then that's cool. But the main story of today's video and the most interesting thing for me was the fact that the Athletic have been assured that there's been a confirmation that the top priority target for Chelsea Football Club and Frank Lampard is Ben Chilwell. Now, it's easy to have reservations about this. First off, we all assumed, or I think it was reported in certain publications, that he might cost around £85 million, the same as Harry Maguire. Personally, I think he should be worth more than Harry Maguire because he's more of an attacking forward player. I know centre-halves are, you know, rare, good and halves are rare at the moment, but still, it was going to cost a lot of money. He starts for England, he's the starting left back, like I said at the top of the video, at the beginning of the season he was performing, his metrics were excellent, top three left backs in England, and when he was initially linked long, long time ago, I was like, yes please, but his form dropped off a little bit, his numbers were sort of poor, he was having notably bad performances in that Leicester side, and Leicester fans themselves were going, well, if we can sell him for X amount of money, let's just get rid of him. And, you know, Chelsea fans were looking at that. Alex Tellej, you know, Tagliafico, Robin Gosens, these other names around European football were coming up as options for about a third to a quarter of the price, probably a bit more like a third of the price. And, you know, us as Chelsea fans were saying, yes, please, that makes a lot more sense. We can focus funds elsewhere. But no, if the Athletic are being assured that the number one target remains Ben Chilwell, that is interesting. And I think I've heard that been said on certain football podcasts before. Now, the good news is, the report is that Chelsea might be able to secure the player for a lot less money than originally stated. Now, how much less? I'm not so sure. It's a difficult situation because Leicester have money. The owners have money. They have an excellent team. They have a good coach in Brendan Rodgers. Why would they need to sell Ben Chilwell to a direct top four rival in Chelsea Football Club? I don't know. So if they did have to, you'd think, well, they're going to absolutely take Chelsea to the cleaners. Hence this £85 million price tag. Now that inherently will come down due to the health pandemic around the world and the financial market being hit. But how much? To what, £50 million? Still like double the likes of Telege and Tagliafico. And really the only way I can see a move happening is if Ben himself pushes for a move to Chelsea Football Club. And he'd have to really see something good in the project at Chelsea because, to be honest, dude, Leicester were above Chelsea and they've got a great project too. Still, Harry Maguire left for Man United, but at the time, Leicester weren't doing what they're doing now, so it is a difficult one. All right, so I've told you guys that he is the priority target, reportedly, so let's talk about that a little bit more because he was looking good. I've looked at his numbers, man. He hasn't got incredible numbers this season. His defensive metrics aren't mind-blowing, but maybe they don't need to be in that Leicester setup. Remember, your numbers only reflect what your team do systemically. A club like Liverpool are an excellent example of that. You know, players perhaps in the midfield don't get goals, but they just press. It's the flanks that do everything in Liverpool. Systemically dictates the numbers that each position will produce. Don't want to make this sound complicated, but just because he's not putting in loads of tackles and interceptions at Leicester doesn't mean he can't. It means he doesn't need to the way they're playing with the likes of Ndidi mopping up, etc. The positive thing about Ben Chilwell is he's got a superb engine on him. He gets up and down excellently. He arrives in the box very well as well, which obviously is very Frank Lampard-esque. Frank Lampard he will love that. And he can get back with good recovery pace. He is very young. I know it's going to sound nationalist, but he's, you know, the young English dude. He'll be, he'll know the other Chelsea players well. And maybe it could work. Frank Lampard, if he's got a project in his head, remember, he might be a new coach, but he's a very intelligent man, Frank Lampard. If he's got a project in his head, then we as Chelsea fans should probably back it regardless. And it is more long term. Telege, Tagliafico, pick your, you know, pick your pick. Sounds weird. Whoever you pick, they're going to be older than Ben Chilwell, and they're going to be—you're going to be dropping them into a new climate, a new league, new demands. Whereas Ben Chilwell is very much acclimatized to the Premier League and its demands. So, if you put all of that into consideration, hopefully you can jump back on the Ben Chilwell train. I'm certainly seeing the positives of it and why Chelsea and Frank Lampard might want him or why he is the priority target. But what do you think, man? That's why we're here. I want to get your thoughts and opinions and I want to read them down in the comments section below and I will be interacting with you guys. So let me know what you think of Chelsea's general targets, but most importantly, Ben Chilwell. 
Would you have him? What's your price limit? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed this content I've provided for you guys today, I'd urge you to like the video, please. That means a lot. Remember, subscribe if you are new to the channel and you are welcome to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that is starting soon and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby